What's going on train people? I'm Ben Wayne back again with another video. Today I'm here to review a product I am super excited about. I've been talking to you guys about it for quite a few months. If you tuned in to our live streams on Train Talk Tuesday, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Instagram. So if you're familiar with this channel, I've said several times that Atlas makes the best O-scale rolling stock in the game. And I stand by that, especially today. What we have here is a product that I pre-ordered about two years ago, around May or June 2021, and it was truly worth the wait. What we're looking at is an Atlas Master, Master O-Scale Multimax Auto Rack. And we'll get into this in just a second. But first, I'll talk to you lightly on the history of the Auto Racks and how they became popular on the railroad. So the railroad has been around for quite some time before automobiles really took off. So when automobiles came a bit more popular and needed to be transported, there really weren't any cars specifically designed for the railroad to transport, you know, auto vehicles or automobiles, right? So what they did was they would use box cars and they could fit maybe two to four cars in a box car. And then when you know, the automobile became more popular and more affordable, you know, demand had increased and the railroad started to transport these cars and different types of auto carriers. Now we didn't just start off with an enclosed auto carrier like we have here. What you had back in the day was like an open setup where cars were actually exposed to the elements. You also had auto carriers where the cars were stacked in there vertically. I believe Chevrolet used to transport their Vegas vertically by the railroad and to do that they had to prep the car for transport since the car was sitting in there vertically that means they had to take care of any fluids that might leak they also had to put blocks in there for the engine mounts and transmission since they're under you know a vertical stress which a car really isn't designed for a car is designed to sit on its wheels not be transported you know from top to bottom like this right so there were special precautions that had to be taken in order to transport these vehicles. Now, fast forward a couple decades, we had the enclosed auto carriers that were traditionally two level auto carriers used for transporting cars and light trucks. And then we came to this, the Multimax setup. This in real life is either a bi-level or tri-level setup, meaning that a level is able to be adjusted so you can haul more cars more efficiently, which is better for everybody because that means it cuts down on costs for the railroad and it cuts down on costs for the customer, whoever's getting their cars transported. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. I don't want to talk anymore. Let's just, let's just go ahead and get into this. Let's go. All right, let's slide this out with Atlas products. Don't let that excitement get to you. You have to be super careful with unboxing these works of art because they have separately applied details that can easily break. So I'm going to try my best to take my time with this. Let's go. So what we have here is the BNSF road name. Now there were other road names offered such as the Kansas City Southern, Norfolk Southern. You also had CP, which I believe is Canadian Pacific. And then you also had Union Pacific as well. All right. So we just want to get this out extremely carefully. Now Atlas's packaging is nice as usual. Look at that. Look at that orange paintwork. I'm so hyped about the way this is going to look on my layout. Now, Again, when it comes to the packaging, be extremely careful. Look at what you have here. It looks like you have two black portions here to help you lift the car out of the box. I suggest you grab these. Don't grab the undercarriage. Again, you have a ton of separately applied detail here. All right. And then of course you have foam pieces on either end. I appreciate the attention to detail with the packaging. All right, so right off the bat, this feels really nice in my hands. If I had to guess, it weighs at least three pounds. And we'll get to that in just a second. 
<clears throat> you can see the underbody here. And of course the black pieces, they will slide out. Just grab them gently and take your time. All right, so that's one. And we'll carefully remove the other. I think that was clever for them to do that. So you don't break any of those separately applied details on the bottom of the car. Bam. This looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely incredible. So the first thing I noticed is that the silver portion, it actually looks metallic. It's not just a flat gray paint. It actually looks like it's made out of metal. The attention to detail is by far the most superior that I've seen on an auto rack in O scale. Now, I mentioned the weight of these things. Why do they weigh so heavy? Well, truth be told, Lionel came out with some auto racks a few years ago. And the problem with those are they're way too light. If you have them in the middle of your train, it's going to cause your train to streamline and derail, right? You want to have nice weighted cars going throughout your consist, right? So what Atlas did is they have a metal subframe here. So all this on the bottom is metal. That's what separates these cars from the rest. Attention to detail like that. On top of that, you have the separately applied details here and I'll get you guys some B roll of all this stuff. So you're just not looking from afar. So you have a separately applied details all throughout the car, right? Taking it to another level, you also have rotating bearing caps, right? So as the car moves, you actually see the bearing caps rotate up close. That is attention to detail like no other. All the font on the doors and on the sides of the car, totally legible and crisp. It's about as crisp as you can get in O scale. This looks absolutely amazing. Now I will say initially when Atlas advertised these cars, of course the doors were supposed to open, but Atlas had some trouble with getting these to ship uh, without causing any damage. So they decided to glue the door shut. Now, if you want to use these cars for like a scene showing some cars driving in or driving out, you can try to open these yourselves. Just be careful, but that's not a deal breaker for me because this is some of the best O scale rolling stock on the market. Now, if you guys are on the fence about these, you really need to move quick. As I mentioned on Instagram, when Atlas releases a product, it is here one day and gone the next. Atlas only makes products enough to essentially cover their pre-orders and the dealers typically don't order a ton of extra Atlas stock. So these are going to be selling quick. They already sold out at my local train store legacy station. And I believe train world is sold out as well. So my best suggestion to you guys, if you're interested in these, just search the Atlas SKU number and Google and see what comes up, see what train store comes up. Of course, I'm telling you guys all this information after I got all the road names that I've wanted. But these are just truly stunning. The detail itself, guys, it's just, it was worth the wait. It was worth the wait easily. And I just love that heftiness. That weight really gives you a sense that you're getting what you're paying for, for these. And with the Lionel Autorax, while they're beautiful, I just didn't get that same feeling. I didn't get the details of the metallic silver paintwork. I didn't get the rotating bearing caps. I didn't get all these separately applied details, right? Um, so that's just my opinion. I think these are the best Autorax on the market currently. And of course, like I said, I got more than one. Let's go ahead and take a look at another road name. All right. So if BNSF isn't your thing, they also released a Union Pacific auto rack. Everybody loves the UP, right? So the Union Pacific is done in a gorgeous yellow paintwork. And again, all the same legible details that you had on the BNSF one as well. Everything is as it should be. I, I just don't know what else to say. Everything is as it should be 
I am so pleased with these. I might have overindulged, but with Atlas product, you can't have enough of it, especially when it comes to your auto racks. When you see an auto rack train, you don't just see like five of them, right? You have auto rack trains that have like 60 of these cars. So it's not terrible that I decided to get myself quite a few of them, right? Um, gotta keep it prototypical, gotta keep it prototypical. Uh, but these are just absolutely incredible. All right, let's check out another road name. Let's, let's check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so if UP and BNSF isn't your thing, you got Norfolk Southern. I love Norfolk Southern. Um, they are my favorite railroad because I grew up in Virginia and that's all I saw. But that BNSF orange just does something for me. But this Norfolk Southern is gorgeous as well. This is just truly beautiful. And again, it's that metallic paint that they put on those doors that gives you that sense of realism. Uh, these would probably look exceptionally great if you weathered them. But please practice on something else before you practice on these. This is the real deal when it comes to O-Scale model railroading. Atlas is no joke. With the success of these, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to come out with another run of these. But it might be quite some time. We waited two years for these. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I've done a lot of talking. I think what we need to do is go ahead and get this on the layout. Again, these are priced at about 125 per car. They sell quickly, so if you're on the fence about it, go ahead and buy it. If you decide you don't want it, you can flip it. I'm sure somebody else will. This is some of the hottest O-scale rolling stock out by far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of these together and get them on my layout. Some of my Atlas O-Scale Thrall articulated auto carriers would probably look great with these as well. Remember I did the video on the articulated O-Scale auto carriers? So I have about five of those. I think some of them are getting replaced to have couplers fitted, new couplers fitted to them. But once I get all those in, they're gonna look great going behind a long, train of these so a nice um, auto rack train is going to look something amazing on my layout it'll look amazing on any layout let me stop rambling let's go ahead and get to it
So that was a brief overview of the brand spanking new Atlas O Master Multi Max Auto Rack Cars. And I think by far the orange is my favorite. I'm not sure I might change my mind by the time this video is published. I just don't know. I'm under so much pressure here. But this is just truly incredible. I just don't know what else to say. Look, you guys need to go ahead and pull the trigger on getting this. I'm telling you, if you can find it, buy it, right? And you can't have enough of them, right? Don't tell your wives about me, but quite frankly, you can't have enough of these cars. The attention to detail, the weight, the overall quality, the look, the paintwork, the font, you know, how everything is just legible down to the smallest details on these cars is second to none. These are the best, 100% certified all right thank you guys so much for watching this review please remember to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and until next time i'm ben wayne the train collector's train collector i'll catch you guys in the next one